What up, gang? This is the first day of week three of college. I do apologize in advance for a low energy situation. I had a fever this morning, but I still wanted to make a video because just two days ago, I arrived back from Tampa with my boy Robert and it was a good trip and I wanted to talk about it. So this is the second time I've been sick in the past three weeks of college life. The first time was also about a week ago where I just had a sore throat and it went away in, in one day. And this is a little bit more severe with uh, a small fever, which I broke with the help of some Advil. So it's just interesting to see how my body is adapting to a new environment with a lot more people. Because as you know, I was essentially homeschooled for the past two years and my exposure to people was very, very minimal because the small community college that I was going to was just that very small and not a lot of people. So I hardly ever got sick there because I wasn't exposed to anybody. So with now probably around 10 times the exposure to people with, you know, people touching rails and stuff, my body just can't handle that. So it's interesting to see how it's gonna adapt over the coming weeks. What were we talking about? Uh, Tampa, yes, Tampa, super, super fun. So on Wednesday of last week, my boy Robert and I realized that most of our guy friends are going to their, house, like, like their homes where they live for the weekend and so are most of the girls. So we're like, yo, what can we do? That's like super, super fun. And so my idea was to take a train to Tampa and one of our friends stays in Tampa so the, the plan was originally to hitch a ride with her and then you know have her show us around downtown Tampa because I've never been there before but uh, long story short that didn't work out very well um, and we ended up staying with one of Robert's boys at the University of South Florida so we took a train there it was about I mean it was projected to be six hours uh, five hours 30 minutes it ended up being about 620 because we had some delays in our train uh, which was kind of weird, but I love trains. I love the prospect of trains. I like everything about going on a train. So I had an absolute blast and so did uh, so did Robert. But we get there, we get picked up by one of Robert's boys and it drives us to the dorms. And later that day, we end up going to a football game, USF versus some school that starts with a C and a B, which we left midway through because USF was just destroying them. So it was, a, so it was a very interesting to watch. So we left and Long story short, went to bed, which is really fun because obviously there's no just a bed that's vacant at the, a dormitory. So luckily the friend that we were staying with, his suite mate had a bed that was completely unoccupied, like no one just moved into that suite. And so what we did is we took a like random mattress topper that they found, I don't know where they found it, but they found it, folded it up, that was my pillow. I took my shorts off, put that as a pillowcase. Then uh, Robert's friend had a like bed sheet cover, you know, like a bed sheet cover that goes above the, so it's a blanket, bed sheet cover, and then it's your body. So I took that as a blanket and then a towel for warmth, and then I put my sweater on for even more warmth. So that was very fun. We get there Saturday and we did the game on Saturday and then we sleep through. Sunday morning we wake up and I wanted to go to downtown Tampa and explore via the e-bikes or e-scooters. So Tampa's range thing, it's got like a dystopian feel, at least for me. Like it's got some South Florida vibes, but at the same time, parts of it are so colorful. Like the buildings are, are very colorful. It feels dystopian. I'm not sure what movie is like playing in my mind, but I could just see like the visuals are, are something is something's off over there. But I really liked exploring. The e-bikes were fantastic, but 10 out of 10 recommend it. Tampa has been checked off my bucket list. I'm trying to explore as many cities as I can in Florida. You know, Jacksonville already did that on e-scooters. Tampa has just been crossed off. Boca, I did some exploring in Boca, but I want to do more. Next, I'm trying to hit Miami, potentially Orlando, thinking about Tallahassee, and then starting to branch out to other places like Savannah, Georgia, Savannah, or uh, Atlanta, Georgia, things like that. Now, a very interesting thing is that the video production stuff seems like it's starting to pick up a little bit more. I run uh, Apollo.io for our marketing. It's called email marketing. You generate a list and you send out the emails, and over the past two days, I've actually gotten a significant number of responses and scheduling some calls now, which is really exciting. I guess the summer is finally winding down and people are returning back to their jobs and now, you know, they're like, okay, let's restart with marketing. And so we'll see how it all goes in the next couple of weeks, but there's definitely some calls getting booked, which is great. Here's what we mean when we say we want to go to college for the college experience. <laughs> Last night, I was sitting here in my dorm at 10 p.m. watching some politics as a news or something on YouTube. And then all of a sudden I get a knock on my door and I hear just a stampede of people. I mean, maybe 10, 15 people just outside my door. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Not like outside, outside, literally right beyond this door. It seems like there's an entire ruckus, entire like audience out there. I open the door and half of the damn LLC is standing out there 
and I guess they were doing room tours and so they barge in. I'm over here watching some like random YouTube stuff. That is the college experience that at least I was talking about when I said I wanted to go to college for the experience as well. And especially that dorm life. That dorm life is just something else. So it was also our friends down the hall, it was one of their birthdays and they bought like this little confetti looking stuff that goes at the front of the door and it kind of like goes down on the door. I've got a picture of it on screen. and. What they did is her birthday was over and so they put that right on our door on the outside. So I arrived back last night from probably going to dinner. I arrived back and I just see these freaking confetti things on our door. This, again, that's the college life. And then later they're like, yo, go check your door again. You know, I went inside, did some more computer uh, work stuff. Then I go outside again and they're sitting a cookie, a cookie cake for us. So that's, I guess, the college experience that I was looking for and that I think most college students really appreciate. But again, on the flip side, you do get significantly, but on the flip side, from my understanding, you get a lot, you get sick a lot more. So, pros and cons, I guess. So, I mean, that's really it that I had on the agenda. I wanted to talk about sickness, health. Um, I wanted to talk about my trip to Tampa, and I wanted to talk about my thoughts on the college experience, and then touch up a little bit on work stuff. So, I guess that concludes the check-in for day one, day, day one of week three. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one.